Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. By comparison, we get capital P as y minus z, capital Q as z minus x and capital R as x minus y. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now let us substitute dx by y minus z. In place of P, we have substituted y minus z. Then dy by z minus x. Then dz by x minus y. Now we have to choose a proper Lagrange's multiplier. As a first part, I am going to take using Lagrange's multiplier 1, 1 and 1. So, whatever we have that is dx by y minus z equal to dy by z minus x equal to dz by x minus y. I have to use this multiplier for each term. So first term, I have to multiply 1 with numerator and 1 with denominator. In the same way 1 with numerator and 1 with denominator. 1 with numerator and 1 with denominator. So using the ratio property, we can add up all the numerators. When I add all the numerator, it is dx plus dy plus dz and when I add all the denominators 1 into y minus z is y minus z in the same way I can write the other terms by adding this we find the terms getting cancelled y minus y minus x plus x z minus x so we get 0 so we have dx plus dy plus dz whole divided by 0 now as usual taking any two terms let us take this and the last term. So we have dx by y minus z equal to dx plus dy plus dz whole division 0 and the entire term will be multiplied with the 0 when we cross multiply. So finally we get dx plus dy plus dz equal to 0 and this we are going to integrate on both the sides and on integration this becomes x plus y plus z equal to 0 and there will be a constant c1. Now second part I have to choose another multiplier. So let us take using Lagrange's multiplier x comma y comma z because we have to choose in such a way that finally we get 0. So already what we have is dx by y minus z. So this is dx by y minus z equal to dy by z minus x that is equal to dz by x minus y. So when I choose this multiplier, I have to multiply x with both numerator and denominator. Then y with numerator and denominator and z with both numerator and denominator. Now, as usual, using the ratio property, we are going to add all the numerators x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division and I have to add all these terms x into y minus z plus y into z minus x plus z into x minus y. Now, once again, numerator is written as it is and denominator we are going to 
simplify further we are going to multiply these terms x y minus x z similarly y z minus y x similarly the last term is z x minus z y so here we notice x y gets cancelled with minus x y z x minus z x and these two gets cancelled finally we get zero and let's write it again x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division zero now once again as usual we take any two terms let me choose the first one and this last one the first one without the x it is dx by y minus z equal to x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division zero now when i cross multiply this entire term is multiplied with the zero and the other side is totally zero so finally we end up with x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to zero now we integrate this on both the sides here the integration is x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to 0 and there is integration constant let us take it as c2 if take lcm it is x square plus y square plus z square whole division 2 is equal to c2 and by cross multiplication it is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 2c2 so already we got c1 and let's take that c1 as a constant that is x plus y plus z equal to the constant a and this is another constant that is x square plus y square plus z square equal to b and we give the solution the solution is in the form of f of a comma b equal to 0 here we have taken this entire 2c2 itself as a constant and so we took it as b now substituting this becomes f of x plus y plus z comma x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0 this is the required general solution